have finally made it here in the island of Koh Tao. Now, if you're new to our channel, I'm Mark. And I'm Karina. Together, we are called Our Sweet Hider, and we are currently traveling through Thailand, discovering all the hidden gems and places to visit. So in today's video, we are going to be going to Freedom Beach. I love beach. And Sari Beach is where we're located at the moment. We have just checked in yeah. from the pier and there's a lot more to do. So today we're going to be exploring and getting to know the island a bit better. Yeah. So let's start the day and let's go. All right, so the first thing we did is rent a scooter. It is 200 baht per day and it's literally so many rentals that you can hire here at Sierra Beach. Now, if we haven't told you, we are currently staying here at Koh Tao Heritage, which is going to be our home for the next three nights. Now, we're super excited about exploring this island because we've heard so many great things. Koh Tao refers to as the Mecca diving and snorkeling in Thailand. So it is known for its coral reefs and marine life. So there's a lot to do in this island. So we've switched over to the GoPro, ready for adventures. The first destination we're going to head to is Freedom Beach. Let's get to the back. So this is how it usually rolls. I navigate and she drives. I'm always on this duty. Boom! Alright, so we have just arrived at Freedom Beach. It is 50 baht for uh, entrance fee, which covers out your guys parking. Um, it is per person. So again, 50 baht. And you have access to the toilets, uh, parking, you even get a sunbed. Very small beach, very kind of compliant and kind of, kind of secluded in a way, but it is, you got the crowds there. So we made it out here at the bottom where uh, Freedom Beach is. It's actually quite a unique beach, it's very, very different. Never seen something like this before where it looks more like a secluded sort of area. It's very tight meaning um, you're kind of next to each other in terms of the sunbed. Um, I think I like it, but at the same time, it is not something that I would... Uh, it's not really my typical beach, if I'm being honest. Um, my first impressions are so far, it is not as freedom as it sounds by the name of it. We had to pay, um, but I think Mark already mentioned that. But at least you get one of those chairs um, included in that price, so you kind of pay for your chair. Um, sadly, everyone is quite close to each other, so you can hear right now it's not really relaxing. If you want to relax, maybe don't come here. I feel like this is more like a natural um, beach club. That's what it feels like. We have a bar on the left where you can order cocktails. And then we have lots of people, they smoke here. <laughs> and um, have fun, have a drink, chill with their friends. So yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> but I must say, I really love the, the the stones, like the rocks on the sides. So the landscape looks quite nice. Sadly, we can't see it because there are trees right in front of us, which doesn't give you really a nice view on the beach itself. It's not really my favorite beach here in Kotao, but we will discover more beaches and I'm sure we will find one we really like. All right, so it's nice and refreshing here in the water. Not bad, it always puts me in a good mood when you just jump in, especially on a hot, humid day here in Thailand. And yeah, it feels nice here. It looks actually really cool from down below. You got these like trees. It looks weird from there, but once you're over here in the water and you see your surroundings, I think it's really, really nice. But you also have to remember um, here in Koh Tao, it's also a very popular place to visit here in Thailand. In fact, um, there's about millions of people that come here every year. And I think people just love that laid back island. For people who want to have the beach to themselves, this is not the beach for you. But for our first beach here in Koh Tao, I would say not bad, not bad. So, I thought we found a look beach, but I think we're a bit lost. Um, we found we followed Google Maps and it took us to like this uh, place, but the gates were closed. So we followed another road and it took us over here where there's like a restaurant. Apparently very close to like a place called Grand Hill Resort. Um, but it doesn't look like a place that is safe to swim or, you know, because it looks quite rough from what I can see. So, and we got some like clouds over there. Looks like it's gonna rain, so we're gonna come here. 
but the drive here was almost just a little bit of a sketchy one especially in this two of you guys on the scooter um, the road goes from like a normal road into like um, basically soil but it looks very nice it looks very um, more rugged more raw colors are really nice and we're getting two types of season in one day we got the beautiful sun which is going to set very soon and we got the thunder clouds over here so yeah hopefully if we don't find it i guess we'll find it in the next day but we're just taking a taking a look to see where, what we can find all right we're just going to hop back into our accommodation it's raining and we couldn't find our luck so i think we are just gonna drop a few things and then walk on the strip of Sari beach hopefully we get that sun popping out again but it doesn't look like that but you never know all right so a few hours later after we couldn't find uh Ayo look we decided to head back at Kotao Heritage to get changed, shower and now we're just walking on the main strip here in Tairi Beach um, and there's a lot of restaurants, cafe, bars, even beach clubs actually like um, straight next to the beach pretty much, next to the water yeah, it's like right next to it and there's a lot of options definitely I think we're gonna settle with InTouch which is the one that we found to be the most liveliest in terms of pretty lighting I think yeah, it's quite nice it looks, yeah, it looks pretty, it has the lanterns and the trees yeah and so we decided that um, we're just gonna take it easy yeah. have a good dinner things didn't go to plan us you know when we get there but I think with a bit more research we're still learning to know how this island is and where things are so bear with us yeah. but I think my first impression is I think it's a, it has a lot of opportunity and from what I heard millions of people um, visit this island every year so we're gonna find out why but yeah. it's, it's a lot more to do but let's go find some food well oh we found food actually this is called in touch let's check it out okay guys the food has arrived i ordered fried chicken rice with um, pineapple and mark ordered curry panang curry which i had a few days before and it was really good too so yeah we went with thai food I mean, it's the best you can do. It's cheap and it's really good because they know their food. All right, yeah, let's eat. All right, we're gonna wrap up the video, but first, the dinner at uh, In Touch was actually nice. 280 baht, and overall, today's first impressions and our first time here in Kartao is actually quite good. A lot more to learn about the island, obviously, but tomorrow the adventure will roll. She is going to do her diving course. Diving course, so it'll be exciting to know how that journey goes. Now, just before we do go, um, if you're wondering how we got here, we came from Koh Phangan. We stayed there for three, or well, actually four nights, and it's easy to get around the Koh Islands. And we booked our ferry, uh, literally from 12go.asia. It's simple and easy. You just basically type in where you're coming from, and then where you need to go, and then you can literally just buy your ticket. So we paid 600 each, so a total of 1,200 baht to get from Koh Phangan to Koh Tao. Well guys, we're gonna leave it at that. Tomorrow's gonna be another exciting day, but our first impressions are pretty good. So we'll get to know more of the island as we go through it today. So I want to say good night. Good night guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Good night. Good night.